Once upon a time in the projects. Cardboard condo, homeboy and a homemade bungalow. In the middle of the end of the day, one way. Time for my evaluation. Boy, I'm nervous. Wonder what I'm gonna say about myself this month. Excellent. Strongly recommend. Major fault. Hmm. Doesn't give himself enough credit. Hi, Goody. What you doing? Yeah, I'm filling out my evaluation of myself. Good news, Muriel. I'm strong leadership material. <laughs> this is supposed to be filled out by your supervisor, Mr. Saunders. Yes, and if he was sober, I'm sure he'd give me the same high marks. God bless his big puffy Jim Blossom nose. Thurgood, he's an alcoholic. You're taking advantage of him. I am not. Well, I'm off to get the old luscious signature. Almost forgot his signing bonus. You, Mr. Saunders, it's Thurgood Stubbs. I brought you breakfast. Hey, Mr. Saunders, what happened? Heart attack. Are you related to the deceased, sir? No. Uh, I mean, uh, yes. Oh, Daddy. Daddy, no, no, no. Please don't go. How's me and Ma supposed to take care of little crippled Enos? Hey, stop that, you sicko. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's his Johnny Walker Hancock, all right. Next! Hello, Thurgood Stubb, superintendent of the Hilton Jacobs Projects here, to turn on my evaluation on behalf of the late Mr. Saunders. <laughs> this is dated today. Uh, yes, he signed it this morning. Interesting, because he was dead a week when they found him. Ooh, a whole week. <laughs> Any other felonies you want to commit? Oh, no, I'm good. <clears throat> I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to get back to work now. You know, if I were you, I'd take the day off. Really? Sure, because once we hire your new supervisor, you ain't never going to stop working again. <laughs> Next! What do you say, Jimmy? You're the perfect man to be my new supervisor. All you gotta do is don't tell me what to do. I can, Thurgood. I've already got a full-time job just managing my portfolio of government entitlements. Yeah. Unemployment, workman's comp, food stamps. Right now, I'm trying to plan a disability for my retirement. You know, a nice fall on my back to fall back on. Well, being my supervisor would mean doing less paperwork than it takes to maintain all those benefits. All you have to do is spend five seconds signing my evaluation. Five seconds a year? No, each month. Ah, oh. Can we get a rubber stamp? You got it. All right, Thurgood. But if this doesn't work out, you gotta push me down an elevator shaft so I can sue HUD. Hey, what did I say about bossing me? Name, Jimmy Ho. Address, Hilton Jacobs. Race. Wait, wait, wait. Remember, they have affirmative action. We need to pick a race that just screams quota. Black? Nah, we kind of milked that one to death already. We need a hot, new, sexy race. A race for the new millennium. Eskimo? Samoan? Albino. Wait, I got it. You're an albino Eskimo. And you're gay. I ain't mad at that. What are you guys working on, Goody? Uh, Jimmy's SATs. Supervisor aptitude test. Jimmy, that's wonderful. You finally decided to get a job. Don't remind me. I feel like a whore working for money. Mary, please go away. You're upsetting them. Uh-oh, they're good. There's an essay portion. What best qualifies you to motivate others? Oh, that's an easy question. It has to be a hundred words. Oh, you guys do it. All right, don't panic. We're all intelligent men here. I'm sure the four of us can come up with 20 words apiece. Uh... Hmm. Ah? Ah, okay, ah, that's great. Ah, quick, somebody get a pencil, write that down. Ah, all right, now, how many do we have now? Uh, one. Yeah, hey, one, all right, we're on our way. Ah. Right. 
Rise and shine, Goody. <sighs> Thurgood, wake up. Didn't you say you had to get Jimmy's application into HUD by 10 a.m.? In five more minutes, Mom, I'll make the bus. Uh, oh, Lord, what did they do to this form? Maybe I'll just tidy this up a bit. Correct some misspellings, replace some of these stick figures with words. Mm, maybe I'll just start from scratch. Shouldn't we at least towel this off? It'll drive me run. Hey. The deadline for filing applications was three hours ago. Well, oh, come on, give the guy a break. He had to drive here all night from Eskimo land. And he didn't even stop at one single gay ball. I said it's too late. Oh, come on now. Jimmy Ho's the most deserving mishmash of minorities out there. Wait, did you say Jimmy Ho? We already got his application. What? It was the most organized and professional application that we've ever received. It made the choice easy. You hear that, Jimmy? You got it. You're my new boss. Congratulations. Ready to roof. Ready to roof. Not him. We hired the person who filled out the application. I found good. Guess what? I'm the new boss. What? what? Muriel, I can't believe you took Jimmy's job. If he cared, he'd be devastated right now. I was as surprised as you when they offered me the job. But they seemed to think I could make a real difference. Well, I don't want it to be difference. I want it to be same. Sir, good, I thought we could use the extra money, but if you don't want me to take it, I won't. I'll do whatever you tell me to do. You do whatever I say? Of course. I'm your wife and I love you. Oh, I didn't count on that. Hey, wait a minute, uh, you know, Muriel, now that I think about it, you might be a better boss than Jimmy. So what do you say, Goody? Can I take the job? Yeah, yeah, Muriel, I say take this job and love it. Oh, oh, <laughs> thank you, yeah. Goody. Oh, oh, just wait. I'll make a real difference. <laughs> hey, you know what? If you don't, that's okay, too. There you go, you little lever. Well, if it isn't the prettiest little boss this side of Hazard County, how's the first day going? Are you working hard or hardly working? <laughs> oh no, I'm working hard. I already drafted my Declaration of Principles. See? When, in the course of subhuman conditions... Muriel, it was a joke. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Is that chewing gum on that leaf? Not just any chewing gum, it's bazooka. Four out of five supers recommend bazooka for their repairs that use gum. But is that safe? I, I don't think it's up to code. Well, how do you know? Maybe it's the secret code. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll want to get started on that repair. And when you do, please fill out form K38-5 and file it. Oh, yeah, of course. I wouldn't think of fixing anything without filing a K38-5. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to file it right now. There you go. Filed. Let's see if I have your complaints. Holes in walls spackled with toothpaste. Exposed wires next to standing water. Standing water. Fuses replaced with copper pennies. Fire door welded shut. Is that it? What about that crack in my ceiling? I seen Sanchez peeping down on me whilst I this robe. Hey, who's the one who wanted you to have that thing on your back looked into? Ah. Uh, what about the sprinklers? They're useless. Uh, well, that's why we have the fire hose. Oh! Uh. Fire hose not up to code. I want to reassure you, as your team leader, I plan to facilitate synergy between management and residents. And when Thurgood hears about these problems, he'll want to take immediate action. <laughs> Talk about living in denial. I can't wait to tell my son Durrell about this when he gets home from Vietnam. Hey, boss! 
Damn union makes me take a break whether I want one or not. Do you, you who? No, thank you. Look, I brought a present for you, Goody. For me? Hmm. The hood building manual. Okay, listen. Before you started as my supervisor, we had a little principle around here called the status quo. It's kind of like a diaper. If you inspect it too close, you won't like what you find, so it's best not to change it. But Thurgood, I'm just trying to help you do your job better, and I just think that the manual could... Okay, you want the manual to help me. Fine. Then show me the chapter that tells us where to get the million bucks it would take to upgrade our building to a death trap. And show me where it says how to deal with the people who steal everything that isn't nailed down and trade it for crack, which gives them the strength to steal the stuff that is nailed down. Goody, I'm just trying to be the best supervisor I can. But if a little extra effort All on your right, part is right, Neil, if it means that much to you, I'll go through the motions, okay? No, read it! Hmm. You me for loafing. Dumpster lids must remain closed. What the? <laughs> Mrs. Super, you interrupted my herbal wrap. Smokey, where did you get this hard manual? It was in here, in the dumpster, in the do-it-yourself section. Very good. <laughs> if you see the attendant, tell her I'm ready for my bikini wax. You see, women don't understand power. That's why they'll never be a woman king. Very good. Uh, I want you to explain why this was in the dumpster. Well, uh, let me think. Could it be mayhaps I threw it in the dumpster? <laughs> but I gave that to you so you could do your job better. <laughs> um, well, you're not going to cry, are you, baby? <laughs> gonna cry. <laughs> Shut up, Sanchez. Yes, ma'am. Very good. I order you to get your ass in there and do your job. What? Muriel, don't tell me what to do. Who died and left you, boss? Your boss, Mr. Saunders. Hey, you said you'd do whatever I told you to do. That's why I hired you. You didn't hire me. HUD hired me. I organized that application. I earned that job, and I intend to do it properly. And that means ordering you to do those repairs. And if I don't, what are you going to do about it? You just wait and see. <laughs> Laugh at me, huh? I'm not some low-level functionary he can ignore. I am middle management. Well, he's gonna be sorry when HUD gets his evaluation. Thurgood Stubbs is a disgrace to pig-headed, incompetent janitors everywhere. Maybe that's a little harsh. Thurgood Stubbs is adequate and not a complete idiot. Did I tell Thurgood to fix that? Boy, it's time to get serious. Oh, boss, I'm home and I forgive you. Where's my dinner at? I'm really home. What, what the hell? Muriel! Muriel! Oh, no, Muriel's passed out drunk. Yeah, she's a stubs. Hey, what's this? As superintendent, Thurgood Stubbs is a nincompoop. My God, she used the N-word. The nerve of her. And furthermore, it is my recommendation. That's it? Well, she must have passed out before she finished it. Well, Mary, let's just finish this evaluation just the way you started it. All right. It is my recommendation that Mr. Stubbs gets a big, fat ass re Nope, nope, back, back speaking, you can see. Fat raise because he is excellent and a genius. Now to sign it. And now to write it again and sign Muriel's name. Oh, Thurgood, I feel awful. Well, don't worry, my sweet old Thurgood is here frying up his special anti-hangover sausage. Now with extra hair of the dog. Oh, I don't even remember how I got to bed last night. That's cause your goody took care of everything, sweetheart. Yes, I washed the dishes, cleaned up the mess, put on your pajamas, held your tongue while you were dry heaving, gave you a kiss, wiped my mouth, and tucked you into bed. Oh, Thurgood, you're so wonderful and thoughtful and... I love you so much. 
And then I took that letter you had in the typewriter and I dropped it off at Hood. Huh? Letter? <gasps> oh no! Please, I need to get Thurgood's evaluation back. Oh, I was just reading it. <gasps> I don't see what else you need to say about him. Hardworking, self-starter, exceptionally skilled. What? I especially like the part where you raved about how good he is in bed. <laughs> good for you, girl. I must have really been drunk. Are you sure that's what I wrote? Well, it was a little hard to read because of all the typos. Typos? Let me see that. Honey, having a learning disability is nothing to be ashamed of. My sister Dyslexia has a son who's got this condition where he reads his words all backwards and stuff. I don't even think they got a name for it. Thurgood! No, that ain't it. Ow! Hey, Mary, you crazy? You forged that evaluation and signed my name! What? Hey, I'm Super of the Month! And I have to take a remedial spelling class! How could you? Oh, come on now, I had no choice. You was making me look like a bad super. You are a bad super. <gasps> Muriel! You're not gonna cry, are you? Well, just look at this place! Why is this attached with string? The HUD manual called for brass hinges! Because if I use brass hinges to crack here, it'd steal them. Well, according to the manual, it's in flagrant violation of the fire code. Oh, it's not up to code? That's the problem? Not up to code? <laughs> there! Now it's not up at all! And what about this window? It's held on with duct tape! <laughs> I make do with the little supplies Hut gives me. That's why I had to hang this with thumbtacks. Oh, oh. Oh. Are you as turned on as I am? No, you idiot. We're fighting. Mommy, Daddy, stop it. Can't you see you're tearing us apart? He's right, Muriel. He's peeing his pants, Thurgood. She's right, Super. <sighs> hey, where'd those cans come from? You pile them against the boiler. Just one more example of your total disregard for the safety manual. But those cans were propping up the water supply valve on the cooling tank. Now the fuel rods are going to overheat. Fuel rods? Nuclear fuel rods, Muriel. What else would an experimental nuclear boiler run on? Are you trying to tell me we've got a nuclear boiler? Yeah, it was installed by the government back in the 70s. They promised it was a safe, clean energy source of tomorrow. Nuclear energy. It's the other white heat. <laughs> Uh -oh. There's a rupture in the containment tank. This lead paint should make me invulnerable to the radiation. Now I need something to repel the intense heat. Asbestos. This will keep me safe. And now the final touch. Core breach alert. Estimated time until project's destruction. Two minutes. It's a China syndrome, and it's all your filthy fault! Hey! Everyone stay calm. There's nothing to fear. It's just a minor radiation leak. Run! Okay, single file! Children first! Stay with your buddy! Thank you! I am not going to lose a multi-thousand dollar building on my watch. But I need you to calm down and help me. Okay, I'll check the manual. Get the manual, Muriel. I know it's wrong. The water emptied out of the cooling tank. Now help me pull back this lever so we can fill it back up. It's jammed. Plan B. We'll have to fill it up manually. Ah. What happened to the extension I put on this hose? It wasn't up to code. I, I cut it off so it would fit on the reel. Okay, I'll have to come up with something. I just need a couple of minutes to think. Meltdown in one minute. What the? Johnny! Oh, no. That's the radiation shield. Once it comes down, it'll seal us in here for 20,000 years. Quick, Muriel, get out and save yourself. I'm going to pull out the fuel rods by hand. I can't leave. According to the manual, a supervisor is required. Doesn't say anything about saving your black ass. Get out of here. Oh, <laughs> 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 
I tried telling you how to do your job, Thurgood. I'm just glad we saved our marriage and everyone within a 30-mile radius. Well, it's been a long day. Good night, Miriam. Good night, Goody. Mm -hmm. 